Well, fears over changes to Virginia's military survivor and dependent education program were growing in Hampton Roads this week. But during budget amendments, Governor Glenn Youngkin tried to ease those fears, saying he wants to do more research concerning the program first. Down on your side's Amy Avery joins us now with what's on the table and how it's impacting local schools. Amy. Well, Tom and Lena, many people were concerned about the proposed changes regarding who is eligible for this program. But Governor Youngkin is making it clear if you're already in the program, you're good for the next year. But he does say he wants to study the program and its impact on public colleges and universities in the state before making any other decisions. Really important uh, statement that we in Fort and of course want our, our vets to stay here. We want their families to stay here. We want Virginia to be the best place for the military to live, work, and raise a family. Governor Glenn Youngkin announced $24 million in funding in his Common Ground budget proposal to support the Virginia Military Survivors Independence Education Program. The program provides a tuition waiver to spouses and children of veterans who are killed, missing in action, taken prisoner, or at least 90% permanently disabled as a result of a military service or combat. There's a lot more to going to college than simply paying tuition. Um, there, are, there are all kinds of books and other fees that are associated with it as well. The program, however, has seen significant growth over the past five years, and it's becoming a lot more difficult for colleges to absorb the costs. According to the State Council for Higher Education for Virginia, program waivers totaled right at $12 million in 2019. In 2023, they reached $66.4 million. That's why the General Assembly wanted to do something to address the issue. So they introduced Senate Bill 347. The bill would have impacted who is eligible for the program. The governor says they heard from a lot of people concerned about the changes. And that's why it's really important that the language that was included in the in the General Assembly's budget, uh, we have sent back an amendment uh, to not include that language and in fact to study the problem before we make a policy decision. Now we did hear back from ODU, CNU, and VCU about the governor's amendments. CNU told us in part, quote, we support and celebrate this program and funding is needed to ensure the burden is not passed along to tuition paying students. You can read the other statements in full on wavy.com. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.